Good morning, Guardians. Briar Rabbit here. Early this morning, a potential leak of two separate Destiny 2 promotional posters hit the internet and have created a lot of speculation and excitement. The posters seem to have been photographed in an Italian GameStop, and if real, have a ton of very revealing information about the release of Destiny 2 and a beta for the upcoming game. So, for a moment, let's assume it is real. What does it reveal? Well, first off, a release date of September 8th, 2017. Interesting, as it is a Friday and not a Tuesday. This is actually becoming more and more common in the video game industry. The Tuesday release date schedule is mostly a holdover from the brick-and-mortar retail days, when shipping a game to retail shops was the primary factor in its release date. Those constraints have eased, and Friday has become a more popular day for releases due to a number of reasons, including customers' pay schedules, free time, and the increased popularity of digital downloads. The 8th could also be the European release day only, with a U.S. release of Tuesday, September 5th, indicating a staggered launch to ease stress on Bungie servers. I somewhat doubt that, but it is possible. Next, we're getting a beta. A Destiny 2 beta would generate a ton of hype and could potentially draw some players back into Destiny who dropped off when the game was originally released. If the posters are legit, a beta could be expected this summer. There will be exclusive content on the PlayStation platform again. In the top right of the landscape-oriented image is a PlayStation branding with the words Content Exclusives for PlayStation 4. So, that's coming back. Next, obviously, is the Destiny 2 branding. I certainly think it's a good idea to make the 2 part of the Destiny 2 a big deal. To separate it in the minds of consumers from the original and to set it up as a sequel, not an expansion, is smart. I'm a bit surprised not to see an epic subtitle below it, though, like my favorite Destiny 2 Cabal's Deep, but that may come later if it's seen as too revealing this early on by Bungie. Now, obviously, we can't be sure these are real, but there are some compelling reasons to think it is. One, Bungie hasn't said that it's fake. Often, when a fake piece of promotional material or news tidbit starts lighting up the Bungie sphere, Bungie will hop onto Twitter to squash it so that fake news doesn't set false expectations for what's really coming. Also, the poster does seem to be an actual physical object at a GameStop. It's somehow more reasonable to me that somebody took a photo of early promotional material and leaked it than a scenario where someone went through the time and effort to create the art, print it professionally, then bring it to a GameStop and snap a photo. Although that certainly is not outside the realm of possibility. Next, the art on the poster does resemble Destiny's official live-action trailer from way back in September 2014. It's not spot on. The Guardians of the poster are not wearing helmets, for instance, but it is reminiscent. The Titan is also very reminiscent of art that's been featured by Bungie in their concept art book. Again, not exact, but similar. The timing of this seems reasonable as well. Posters getting sent out to be revealed after the launch of Age of Triumph. While Bungie has a lot of the community's attention, it makes sense. It sets up hype for a reveal without giving too much away as well. Relatively generic looking guardians, no supers or special abilities shown. It's a tease without the details. It confirms Destiny 2, puts it in the public eye, but keeps us wondering exactly what it will be. Calculated and cunning maneuvers by the experts of hype over at Bungie. The timing fits with other leaks and their timelines as well. The Gallerwing image slipped out on July 20th, a month before Bungie revealed it on July 21st. The Rise of Iron poster leaked out on May 20th, two months prior to the Rise of Iron reveal. If one were to assume the material was not supposed to be shown publicly until after the launch of Age of Triumph and the four weeks of newly revamped raid releases, maybe around April 25th or so, 
then that's about two months until a possible reveal at E3 in mid-June. Now, to be honest, I am inclined to believe that this is a legit leak. It feels real to me. However, there are some reasons to doubt it. First is the art style. It does not seem consistent with past Bungie printed material. A more realistic art style with a photorealistic look in Guardians Without Helmets would be new. But it is early. The weapons and armor have a very Destiny feel without obviously being Photoshop jobs and showing faces instead of helmeted, anonymous avatars could help players connect a bit more to characters as opposed to concepts. The weapons shown concern me a little bit as well. The Titan in the front is holding a gun that looks a lot like Hard Light from Destiny 1. It's not an exact match, but it is similar. The Warlock on the right seems to have a Suro shotgun, which is exciting, but really reminiscent of the basic shape of the Chaperone. Knowing players' complaint of the frequent reskinning of weapons in the past, if I were Bungie, I would try to avoid anything that looks similar to Destiny 1 gear. There are no Exos or Awoken in this material. All three characters shown are human, which seems odd. But this may be a gambit to attract the largest possible audience. People who may be a bit turned off by the sci-fi stuff, there is something very Call of Duty about this poster, isn't there? Overall, I do think this is probably real. Bungie releasing just a vague image that doesn't really spoil anything about the story, the locations, or any of the new features of Destiny 2 is smart marketing. That stuff will come later. This starts the hype train rolling. It confirms Destiny 2 is coming out in September. There will be a beta and there will be PlayStation exclusive content. That's it, if you believe it's real. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.